This video is an introduction to Noodle Tools, a program that helps you create and organize citations. Generate citations in MLA, APA, and Chicago Turabian citation styles. Organize these ideas in folders based on different assignments that you might have, and add citations over time as you work on your projects. Access Noodle Tools from the library website. Go to the college homepage, farmingdale.edu, sign into My FSC, and select Library on the left. Links to Noodle Tools are listed in the Citation Help section and in many of the research guides under the Citing Sources tab. If you have never used Noodle Tools, select Register to create an account. Select Student, enter your expected graduation year, some additional information, and select Register. After logging in, the main page will show any projects that you created in the past. If you are new to Noodle Tools, you won't see any projects here. This example shows how you can create different projects for different assignments, like a History 101 presentation or an English 101 paper. First, start by creating a new project. Select the New Project button on the top right. Enter a title and select Citation Style. Check your assignment details for citation style requirements. Also choose the Advanced Citation Level, which allows you to cite many different types of sources. Once you have created a project, select New Source at the top right to enter a new citation. Noodle Tools will guide you through entering the citation information. First, it asks you where you found the source that you are citing. Did you find it in a database, on a website? Is it print or in hand, such as a hard copy book? Did you view or hear the source live, such as an interview? And is the source a file, app, or ebook? We'll go through some examples. First, let's cite a journal article that I found in a library database. Now I'm being prompted with the question, where is the resource? In our case, we are citing an article that was published in an academic journal, so I'll select Journal. I'll also point out some of the common types of sources you might be citing. In addition to journal articles, you might cite magazine articles, newspaper articles, books, charts, tables, or infographics, film or video recordings, photos, illustrations, images, or video clips. Once you have selected the type of source, you will be prompted to enter information about the source. If you want to double check the type of source you selected, you will see this information at the top. We are citing an article from a journal that we accessed in a database. When entering information, be aware that not every field is required. For more details, look for the information symbol, which will let you know if a field is required and if there are special rules for how to enter the information. Some of the common information that you will need to enter includes the name of the database where you found the resource, the URL, the DOI, DOI stands for Digital Object Identifier. Many articles have DOIs, but some do not. If your resource does not have a DOI, leave this field blank. Enter the author names here. If your source has multiple authors, select Add Contributor to include the additional authors' names. You'll also need to enter the title of the article and the page numbers. Journal information includes the name of the journal where the article is published, the volume and issue numbers, and publication date. Unless you are writing an annotated bibliography, you may leave the annotation field blank. If we are citing a different type of source, like a web page, we would follow a similar process. When selecting New Source, go to Website, Web Page, and enter information such as the URL, date of publication, author, title of the web page, and other details depending on the specific resource. In order to generate accurate citations, you must enter the information correctly. For example, capitalization and spelling need to be correct. If something is not formatted correctly, you will see a caution sign with suggestions on how to correct the issue. When you have finished adding resources, you can select the Export Print icon and export your list of citations to Word or Google Docs. When your list is exported, it will be properly formatted in the citation style you selected. Then copy and paste this list at the end of your paper. If you want to find out how to format an in-text citation for your sources, go to your list of sources and select the three dots on the right. Here you will see an option for in-text citation. This will provide an example in-text citation for that source with instructions. See the video description for links to additional resources on citing sources. Librarians are available to assist you during all open hours. Please don't hesitate to contact us.